Welcome to all. Myself, Dr. Dithiranjan Patnay. I am, I am working as an assistant professor in GL Bojaj Institute of Technology and Management, Greater Noida. Today, we will see about the optimum filter. So, in digital communication, we have already studied about uh, various things uh, uh, in the previous lectures, like scrambler, pulse sapping techniques, different types of modulation techniques, and uh, we have already calculated the probability of errors. So, here we will see uh, how the filter is playing a major role uh, to detect the signal from a noisy environment. So, to detect the signal from a noisy environment, we are using the optimum filter in case of our uh, digital communication system. So, before that, we have to first see what is a filter. A filter is a system, filter is nothing but a system that is designed to process signal into those be desired. So, filter is nothing but the, this is a filter, some signal is going, signal, I mean uh, some uh, information plus something noise, uh, something is going and in the output we require the desired output. Uh, generally, the signal uh, information is desired and the noise is undesired part. So, in the filter, the noise is uh, uh, your uh, uh, suppressing uh, in the filter and only the desired output is uh, uh, just uh, coming as a output. So, the purpose of using filter can be various. Why we are using the filters? To extract a desired signal from noisy data, that is the main role of the, one of the main role of the filter. Similarly, to transform signals, so we, if we want to transform the signal, we use the filters. Then to suppress noise, this is also uh, one of the purpose of the filter. Next, to separate two signals that are mixed in one measurement. So, here we can see the signal plus noise. So, we can separate the uh, two, these two signals or signal 1 plus signal 2 also, we can separate these two signals using also in uh, using filter. So, an optimum filter is such a filter used for acquiring a best estimate of desired signal from noisy environment. So, here you can see the word estimate okay, and that is best estimate. So, we can only estimate the signal, we cannot get the uh, exact signal from the noisy environment. So, here we, we are using a best estimation techniques, so that we can get the sig uh, signal, best signal from the noisy environment. So, it is different from the classic filter, like low pass filter, high pass filter and band pass filter, is, these are the classic filters. So, uh, optimal filters are optimum these are optimum because they are designed based on optimization theory. So, optimization theory uh, either uh, we have already read in uh, mathematics that uh, we are either getting uh, some signal like uh, maximum of something or minimum of something then at that time we are using uh, optimization techniques or optimization theory. So, optimal filter uh, this, is, this uh, filter uses the optimization theory to minimize the mean square error. So, this uh, op uh, optimal filter is mainly used for, uh, used to minimize the mean square error between the processed signal and the desired signal. That is the difference between the processed signal and desired signal, it, it will it will come like, a, uh, come as a error and that error should be minimized or equivalently provides the best estimate of desired signal from a measured noisy signal. Okay. So, this is the, these are the goals. So, to find probability of error, this is the filter uh, in this uh, section, we will find the probability of error and uh, we will uh, also find the signal to noise ratio, because this, this signal to noise ratio is a uh, very important role. We have already read about the signal to noise ratio that is SNR whatever we are calculating, uh, we, are, we want to show that the, okay, this system is better, this system is worse according to 
uh, one uh, major term that is SNR plays a very important role. So, we are calculating the SNR also. So, let us say let the received signal be, a, be in a binary format, okay, assuming polar NRZ format. Okay. So, to represent binary 1s and zeros, we have already studied about the this line coding techniques. So, for binary 1 that is our signal x 1 t equal plus a, for 0 it is minus a. Hence, the input signal x of t will be either x 1 t or x 2 t that is either 1 or 0 depending upon the polarity of the energy format. Okay. So, the noise now we are considering the noise that is not the only signal is available because in the channel uh, there is a noise or uh, in the device there is there is also a uh, chance of adding noise. So, the noise n of t that is we, are, uh, we have Gaussian that noise follows the Gaussian distribution with 0 mean. So, is added the noise is added to the signal x of t in the transmission channel. So, your signal is now it is going like x of t plus n of t. Hence, input of the optimal filter, optimum filter or optimum receiver is x of t plus n of t. So, the, the input uh, to the optimum filter the, that is uh, the signal either you have x 1 t or x 2 t that is your signal is not exactly x 1 t or not exactly x of t, it is your x of t plus n of t. The, so, the optimum filter will filter as a, uh, will filter the input signal and it uh, gives as a y of t okay. and that y of t in digital combination we, we will find out the sampled version of the y of t which is a uh, sampling at the capital T instant. Okay. So, uh, this y of t will be like y of capital T. So, what is your y of capital T? y of capital T equal to your x not 1 t of t plus your this is your y of t, y of t equal to your uh, how much x of t plus uh, it will like n of t the x of t you can say that x of t that x of t may be your x not 1 t or x not 2 t. Okay. So, y of t is your actually this this one is your x of t x not 1 of t plus n of t. Okay. Similarly, x not 2 of t plus n of t. Okay. So, your y of t may be x not 1 or may be x not 2. Hence, in the absence of the noise, the aforementioned distance are considered. So, next we will see what is happening. So, we have now x not 1 t plus n of t. I will consider this x not 1 uh, x not 1 of t plus n of t equal to x 1 t if uh, x 1 t if it closes to x 1 t. If x not 2 t plus n of t, I will consider x 2 of t if it this sum is close to x 2 of t. Okay. So, if uh, I can you can see that I have elaborated also in these points. If noise is present, then x 1 of t is selected. If noise is present, x 1 of t is selected. If y of t is close to x not 1 t, if y of t is uh, uh, close to x not 1 t, uh, then x not of 2 t, then y of t is considered as x 1 t. And x 2 of t is selected, y of t is your x of x 2 of t. Uh, if it is closer to x not 2 t then x not 1 t. I have already told in this section. Hence, decision boundary will be the middle of the x not 1 t and x not 2 t. Okay. So, the decision boundary is your x not 1 t plus x 2 uh, x 2 not 2 t divided by 2. Okay. Let us uh, this is x not 1 t, this is x not 2 t this is the your middle point this is which is nothing but the if this point uh, before this point it will uh, selected as x not 2 of t after this point it will selected as x not 1 of t. So, this is your decision boundary. Now, we will calculate 
the probability of error for the optimum filter. So, here in the noise N of t is considered as Gaussian noise. Okay. This is the uh, main uh, uh, one of the important uh, distribution. So, in natural, in natural it, uh, all distributions are following uh, the Gaussian distribution. So, we are, we are uh, considering this noise follows a Gaussian noise. Suppose, x 2 t of x 2 of t was transmitted, but we are getting x naught of 1 t greater than x 2 naught of t. Okay. So, if n of t is positive and larger in magnitude compared to the x threshold, okay, we have already x threshold this much minus x naught 2 of t, then this situation, in this situation the incorrect decision will be taken, therefore, the error will be generated. Okay. Again, I want to tell the suppose x 2 of t was transmitted, but at the receiver x naught 1 of t greater than x 2 uh, x naught 2 of t, then it is then it will what will select x 1 of t. So, but uh, we have transmitted x 2 of t. So, your noise this is your noise that is nothing but x naught of 2 of t this t plus n of t that is greater than your x threshold. So, your n of t is greater than equal to x t s minus x 2 of t. Okay. So, x threshold is this, this much, this is this much and if that is n of t is greater than x naught 1 of t minus x naught of uh, 2 of t divided by 2. So, hence what is the probability of error? A probability of error is nothing but the, that this is the error, this is the error. Now, uh, in the probabilistic approach, we can uh, uh, proceed like probability of noise greater than x threshold minus x naught 2 t. So, I can write x, uh, I have calculated this much like this one. Okay. Now, probability of n of t greater than equal to x 0 1 t minus x 0 2 t divided 2. Therefore, the probability density now, we will consider first what is the probability of noise. The uh, noise follows the your probability Gaussian distribution. So, this is the Gaussian distribution with uh, uh, this is your 1 by sigma root 2 pi e to the power minus n square t by 2 sigma square because your noise has a 0 mean and uh, your standard deviation is a sigma. So, I can write the PDF of noise is this much. Hence, N of t is a random process with sigma with a standard deviation and the function has 0 mean. Okay. Hence, to evaluate the probability of error, we must integrate the PDF. So, I have to integrate the your PDF uh, that, that would be uh, from uh, this threshold point to infinite, because I am getting instead of x naught, x naught 2 t, I am getting x naught 1 of t. So, I have to integrate this in the region x naught 1 t and x naught 2 t. Okay. So, how to calculate this? So, x naught 1 of 2 t minus x naught of 2 t divided by 2, this, this point. How this point is uh, recovered? This is your like this is your Gaussian distribution, this is your x naught 1 of t minus x naught 2 of t divided by 2. I have to find this region. So, this is uh, up to this is a uh, infinite, this is the I have to find out this area because this is the error probability of error area. So, I have to find out the probability of error by integrating the PDF. So, this is the limits now this is the pdf and after that this pdf i know this pdf this pdf is nothing but this one and this is dn of t so your p of e uh, that is probability of error equal to uh, 1 by sigma root 2 pi e to the power minus n square root of t divided 2 sigma square multiplied by d n of t now i have to solve this integration so, let n square t divided by 2 sigma square equal to y square 
then from this I can get y as a n of t divided by root 2 sigma and dy equal to d n of t divided by root 2 sigma and d of n of d, uh, d n of t equal to your root 2 sigma d y. Now, uh, I got this d n t in terms of y, okay? My, I mean the in terms of d y and uh, I have already changed this one to y square. So, I have to change the limits. Limits, how I can get the limits? As n of t, your n of t tends to uh, infinite, your y tends to infinite. Why? Because this is the relation, okay? This is the relation y and n of t. If n of t tends to x not 1 t minus x 2 x 2 not t divided by 2, then y tends to how much? This much. This is n of t, this much divided by root 2 sigma. This is 2 times root 2 sigma, okay? Now, your probability of error is, yes, this is the uh, instead of this, this limit is this one, this is the limit and this is the everything you want to write here. So, your probability of error equal to now after simplifying this one, it is it comes like this and now I will uh, multiply one uh, in the denominator, I will multiply numerator in the multiply 2 and I will multiply the uh, divide by 2 in the denominator after that it will it is uh, it will look like your b, why i am doing like this because i know erfc is nothing but a 2 by root pi uh, integration x to infinite e to the minus y square d square dy see this is the this one is same this is instead of uh, x i have this much but i don't have one uh, 2 by root pi so to make this like this uh, equation I have divided by 2 and multiplied by 2. Okay. So, at last I will get half here fc of here fc of x naught 1 t minus x 2 naught t divided by 2 root 2 sigma because x your x is nothing but this much this is the x. So, you know that here fc function is a decreasing function. So, if your this difference increases then your here fc function would decrease because your 2 root 2 is constant, sigma is also your constant because uh, only variable is your this much I mean x naught 1 t minus x naught 2 t is only the variable. So, if this would increase then ERFC function will decrease and, uh, and hence the probability of error would decrease. Okay. So, now we will find out the SNR and transfer function of the optimum filter. So, let x naught 1 of t minus x naught 2 of t equal to s of t. This is generally we have x naught 1 t minus x naught 2 of t. So, this is s of t, then probability of error is nothing but half a r f c of s of t divided by 2 root 2 sigma. Okay. This is 2 root 2 sigma s of t. So, I can write uh, s of t, okay, I can write uh, half year fc uh, uh, all things uh, i uh, if i will take inside the root okay square root then it would it would be s square t uh, uh, divided by 8 sigma square so your snr that gamma square equal to snr is nothing but the signal power divided by noise power so i can write this year fc of in general uh, we have uh, half year fc of uh, snr like this root snr so snr is your s square t divided by 8 sigma square that is nothing but your uh, signal uh, amplitude power divided by noise power. Okay. So, now we will find out the transfer function that is your, uh, see this is for transfer function, this is the filter H of f whose transfer function is, this is SIT, the input signal uh, uh, power spectral density. Similarly, uh, your output signal S I S of uh, S of S not T in frequency domain this much this is the frequency domain. So in frequency domain I can write S not of F equal to S I F multiplied by H of F, and I can write S not T equal to uh, using the inverse Fourier transform I can write S not F is given and it the J two pi F T D F. So to find out the gamma square we have to find out the 
transformation function of s of t okay because gamma square consider s square of t okay so this transform function is basically a optimum filter that s of t is nothing but your optimum filter so let si of t is the input signal and s not t is the output signal okay so s not f equal to your in frequency domain this is uh, like multiplication of in frequency domain uh, input and the transfer function this s of f is the optimum filter transfer function okay so s not t equal to how much i have already told you that is this is a using a inverse fourier transform so s not t equal to your s not f is nothing but the sif multiplied by h of f now s not to uh, s not a square equal to minus infinity infinite sif h of this is the square just square i have done this is the modulus square okay so now i can expand the noise noise like so this is the input phd of noise is your gnf output phd of noise is not let's say gn not of f the input and output phd power spectral density are related as gn not f equal to output power spectral density equal to input power spectral density multiplied by h square of f this, this is a power okay that is power spectral density so this is the uh, general uh, uh, model now we will write the phd in the terms of power okay this is because we will need this for calculating the noise power so the variance of gaussian noise is nothing but the noise power this is the main important point variance is nothing but your the power that is noise power the relation between the noise power and the phd are related as the noise power is nothing but the integration of the power spectral density okay so sigma square equal to the integration of power spectral density so power spectral density i know the power spectral density is h square f into gnf okay h square f into gnf so this is h square of gnf so gamma square equal i have sigma uh, uh, i have already find uh, find out the s square t of t now i i find out sigma square so this is the s square t uh, nothing but the this is the this one and this is the your sigma square part so using schwartz uh, uh, inequality if i have uh, x of f and y of integration a whole square divided by x of f square it would be limited as bounded by integration of y of f df whole square so here how our x of f in this case our x of f is your h of f in root gn of f y of f is equal to s of f divided by root gn of f multiplied by e to the j2 by ft so i can write that gamma square is less than equal to minus infinite infinite your 1 by root gn f okay 1 by root gn f multiply sif into e to the j2 pi ft square df okay so i can see that for equal sign uh, for equal sign if this is less than but for equal sign i have to equal the some constant uh, i have to equate some uh, constant k x of f equal to k times y star f with k is arbitrary constant here this is the conjugate so h of f multiplied by root gn f equal to k times your this is your y of f so y of f is nothing but your s of f divided by root gn f multiplied by e to the j2 pi ft but y star that is e to the minus j2 pi ft so h of f equal to how much this this will be the result of h of f okay so this is the uh, this is the main uh, we have calculated the transfer function of the optimum filter before that we have calculated the uh, this is the snr so we have calculated the snr part here this is the uh, s square t divided by 8 sigma square and now we have calculated the s not f uh, h of f from this optimum filter so this is the this is the step this is the s, s square t we have calculated this is the uh sigma square we have calculated now gamma square equal to s square t divided by sigma square and uh, using the squares uh, uh, inequality we have found out this much of uh, uh this is the h of f this much of the 
uh, we can say uh, the uh, transfer function. So, in the next uh, lecture, we will see uh, these are the re references uh, from where I have taken this um, uh, points and uh, in the next uh, lecture, we will see the match filter, uh, uh, where we, uh, we can uh, say that the power spectral density or yeah, noise power spectral density is your white Gaussian noise or noise is your uh, noise follows the white Gaussian noise. So, thank you very much.